Hey guys, I just finished watching episode 41 of Dragon Ball Super and let's all just have a moment of silence for all the Dragon Ball haters out there. So this episode was very interesting and satisfying. In this episode we got to know how powerful Zenosama truly is. We saw the Dragon God came to know about the wish and got clues to possible future plots. Let's just begin with the Omni King Zenosama. So if you have been wondering how powerful Zenosama is, Beerus explicitly mentioned that the Omni King can wipe out all 12 universes out of existence in the blink of an eye, if he feels like it. So there we go haters, no Dragon Ball character is universal level. Now take that statement and hope it right up your ignorant ass. Because now we have Zenosama who can completely destroy 12 universes, 12 universes, 12 universes effortlessly and instantly. Now don't come up with statements like that doesn't mean shit or it was a lie just because you can't accept facts. Whiz, Vados or the Kaioshins would have corrected it in that case. However, here's one more interesting thing for me. Yesterday, I predicted in my episode 41 preview that Zenosama came here because it goes against the godly rules to arrange some tournament like this. However, he might also react positively to the tournament and might end up being the path to a 12 universal tournament. And that is exactly what happened. So my predictions do have some value, huh? I'm not entirely wasting your time. So I'm assuming if we get a 12 universal tournament, that will be either the last arc of Dragon Ball Super or the one before the last. They will either end Super with that tournament or something will happen there that will turn out to be a treat for all 12 universes. Now here's one crazy prediction I'm making without too many logic backing it up. That is, Goku will save all 12 universes and will somehow acquire the same level of power Zenosama has. Because if you see the ending of Dragon Ball, Goku was the strongest character. Same case with Dragon Ball Z. And though you might argue that the case is different here, he's the god of everything, I'm still throwing my gut feeling that they will end Super showing Goku and Vegeta as the highest form of power unless they have plans to continue further. Again, this is just my gut feeling and I completely understand if that sounds BS to you. Then they summon the dragon god and yeah like 99.99% of the people predicted the planet they were fighting on is the last super dragon ball. So the dragon god who is continuously referred as super shenlong instead of zorama is summoned. He is gigantic and makes an epic entrance by eating up a planet, namely planet Sator. I will give the details on summary. So basically, the wish Beerus made should surprise us all. I didn't see that coming. I once mentioned that Goku will make this exact same wish, but I never thought Beerus would do it. Beerus chose brotherly love to Champa in a truly godly manner as he wished the art of Inverse 6 to be restored with food and all. Do I need to even tell you how awesome that was? However, Bulma and others in the cube except for Whis didn't know what he wished for as the wish was made in the language of gods and Beerus didn't let them know about his wish and told that he just wished for a comfort bed. But here's one thing that bothers me anyway, restoring art. Isn't that something even Purunga could do? Comment what you think about this. So this episode is built up for many upcoming plots. We got a lot of clues and Toriyama certainly gave Toy enough materials to run Dragon Ball like forever. And it certainly confirms a long continuation of Dragon Ball Super since it has a 12 universe tournament coming. Thinking of it this way, now Toei has 12 universes in Dragon Ball. 
Dragon Ball universe can now last forever. They can follow the Dragon Ball art and action style and keep making stories just like they want. The episode 42 well, trailer was also interesting. We finally see Monaka sparing up with Goku and he's rightfully wearing Mr. Satan belt. It looks like they're going to have a party, it'll be a refreshing episode and you get to see, uh, see the showdown of Goku vs. Monaka. The trailer also features Krillin using Solar Flare. Since the subs are not yet out and many of you might have confusion with what happened in the episode, I'm going to read out the translations done by Kanan's Chu with a bit of editing and deduction. You can check this site out, link is on description below. Dragon Ball Super Episode 41 Summary by Kanan Zhu Beerus explains to Goku that their visitor is in fact the Omni King, the person who stands at the pinnacle of the 12 universes. Whis notes that they shouldn't just stand there looking at the Omni King and so Beerus and Champa rush down to formally greet him. Champa is so distracted by this une unexpected turn of events that he seems to have completely forgotten about destroying his fighters. After a few formalities, the Omni King explains that he came to ch uh, he came to chastise Beerus and Champa for neglecting their duties as God of Destruction and holding a tournament instead. Instead, Whis apologizes on Beerus' behalf, explaining how Beerus prefers napping and food over acts of destruction. And Vados claims Champa needs to cut back on his work in order to focus on eating a healthy diet. The Omni King jokes about replacing them with some new gods of destruction but then admits that despite initially coming to criticize them, he found the tournament so enjoyable that he wants to hold another one featuring fighters from every universe. Goku is thrilled at the idea and tells the Omni King that he'll be he, he'll be sure to compete but Beerus freaks out saying that Goku can't talk directly to an Omni King that however Omni King doesn't mind this breach of etiquette and compliments Goku in a well fought match. He promises to hold his hold this next tournament soon and Goku reaches out to shake hands with Omni King, freaking Beerus out once more. They shake hands and Omni King departs. With Omni King gone, Beerus chews Goku out for his real behavior. If Omni King felt like it, he could wipe out all 12 universes in the blink of an eye. Goku is surprised to hear this, but knows that Omni, Omni King didn't seem like a bad guy, so he probably wouldn't do something like that. Champa snidely remarks that Beerus' victory doesn't mean quite as much anymore. This tournament was really just a warm-up, and Omni King's tournament will be the main event. Still, Champa says a loss is a loss, and he'll hand, hand over his 6 Super Dragon Ball as promised. Though he doubts that they will be able to find the final one so easily. Champa thinks the Omni King will probably be angry if the Universe 6 fighters aren't present at his tournament, so he, so he begrudgingly spares them. Kaba happily tells Vegeta that now he can give him a tour of planets at all repeatedly re referring to Vegeta as master in the sense of a martial arts master. Despite Vegeta's protest, Goku ap approaches Hit, telling him he doesn't know when this next tournament will be, but if Hit can't wait until then, he'd be happy to give him a rematch in three days or from now or even tomorrow, if three days is too long. Hit says see you later and takes off. Meanwhile, Mr. Satan offers Monaka to be the mascot for his gym, but Monaka seems unsure. Now, the matter of the Super Dragon Ball is that it remains to be cleared up. At first, Bulma is at a loss because she can't seem to locate the signal for the 7th Super Dragon Ball on her radar. But looking closely, it turns out there are already 7 signals gathered together. Right there, Monaka suggests that they need to look at a space map like this from a 3D perspective. His, his thinks the, he thinks this is a Wiz thinks this, this is a great suggestion and has everyone pile into his cube vessel. They zoom away from the nameless planet, which Wiz reveals to actually be the seventh and final Super Dragon Ball. 
Whis explains that when the Super Dragon Balls are scattered, after the last time they get granted a wish, the Super Dragon Ball must have collided with a small planet and became covered in the debris, making it look like a planet itself. With all seven Dragon Ball gathered, they must now summon the dragon using the language of gods. At first it doesn't seem to work, but before too long, a titanic golden dragon seemingly as big as a galaxy or bigger appears. As the ship rocks wildly, Wiz assures them that they have nothing to worry about. Their ship is swallowed up by the dragon, and the next thing they know, they're in a stranger space. It turns out they're inside the body of Super Shenlong. As the characters now refers to the dragon, and Goku wonders if this means they'll get popped, popped out. A smaller version of Super Shenlong appears before them, and Beerus explains that this is the dragon core or nucleus. Super Shenlong speaks to them in the language of the gods, asking that they name their wish. Beerus says something in the divine language to Whis who repeats it to Super Shenlong, saying that their wish is granted, Super Shenlong vanishes. Bulma demands to know what Beerus wished for, and he claims it was merely a comfy bed. Bulma says she could have easily given Beerus that, and calls him an idiot, and Beerus threatens to destroy them all. Elsewhere, Champa and Vados are returning to their own universe, when Vados uses her all-seeing staff to discover that Universe 6's version of Earth has been restored. It's inhabited once more with the same level of civilization as Universe 7's Earth. Now Champa can get all the tasty Earth food he wants. Champa realizes that this must have been what Beerus wished for but is annoyed that how he owes Beerus a favor. Back on Beerus' planet, Goku still wants to spar with Monaka and Beerus promises to let them let him something soon, sometime soon. But now it's time to go home. Beerus secretly pays Monaka off with a huge pile of gold, saying he'll keep using him to spur Goku on. For now though, Monaka can return to his ordinary job, apparently some sort of delivery man. Goku and the gang fly back to Earth and Piccolo says this upcoming tournament between all the universes will be amazing. Jacko agrees saying he'll take another holiday to come see it.